We're starting. Hey, gun people. Uh, these new LED lights, I'm going to shine this up here in my uh, neighbor. I don't know if that's going to focus in or not on those lights for the LED. You can get the bulbs now, but you have to do some rigging on your little holder. So I have two different holders here in my barn. My buddy Roberto, who just ran across the border, is going to help me. <laughs> and uh, so here's what we did. We took two screws off this, and we're just going to pull the top off. You have to take the uh, disconnect the ballast, or, or these like have a little computer chip. So I'm going to do another video. We'll call this Type 1, and then we'll call the other one Type 2. Type 2, or Type 1 is a pain in the ass. Yeah, these are a pain over here. So we're going to do this one right here, the easy one that he says should take only five minutes. Where I'm going to get the wires in here. I'm going to try to zoom in and show you what he's doing. He's going to explain. So what he's cutting now is the two wires going to what? The ballast? The ballast. Okay, so that big white thing's the ballast? Yes. Okay, so basically you're bypassing a ballast because these the, the LED lights, they use less energy, they're brighter, they don't uh, have to warm up like your fluorescent do. So if you replace your regular fluorescent bulbs with the LED, this is kind of what you're going to have to do to remove your ballast. Now, most people may know this. I don't know nothing about this. So Robbie here is my little electrical advisor. <laughs> these are easy. Yeah, he said these are easy. We did the other one. On these other ones over here, I mean, getting those off is a pain, and they got little computer chips on both sides. What did you call that? They're, They're half, half ballast. Half ballast. So each side has half of a ballast. So it was a lot more wiring. It's a little bit more technical. So we're going to do a couple of those in stages so the video doesn't get too long. So all he's doing right now is basically disconnecting the ballast. You're actually just going to take it off, right? Cut it out. All right, just, it's going to make it lighter. It doesn't need to be used. What exactly does a ballast do? It, it, it's like a transformer. Okay. It fires the lights. I think it's like a low voltage transformer. Okay. There's somebody out here who's an electrician will tell you exactly what it is because oh, yeah. there's always <laughs> on YouTube you know you're going to get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That guy didn't know what the hell he was doing. <laughs> you know what? It worked because he's already done one and it's thinking work. So, <laughs> so once he takes that out, then he's going to do kind of what's called, is it called direct wiring or a direct stri wire, yeah. a direct wire? So I guess the LED... These have the ballast built in them already. Oh, they have a ballast in them? Yes. Oh, okay. So the LEDs have an internal ballast, so you can't do two. On this particular one, there's two types of bulbs. One bulb gets power on one needle and the neutral comes out on the other. These bulbs, which we ordered specifically, have hot on one end, neutral on the other. And, and you can use this type of bulb on a shunted or non-shunted fixture. Shunted means? Shunted means that the uh, it's powered over, and I'll show on this one. I'll show what a shunted. Okay. Is. This is non-shunted. There's two wires here. It's not. It's not short circuited from one side of the pin to the other. So this one you could do either or if you wanted to. Oh, okay. But it's still dangerous to me to mix hot and a neutral on one end when you can just separate them and okay. make it easy. That's when you're ordering the bulbs. That's the big deal. You have to make sure that you're getting them where it's hot and neutral, and not hot and neutral. Oh, okay. And what is it? What is that called? Will it say shunted or non-shunted or what? No, no, it'll just show on the wiring diagram of the bulb itself. Okay, and these bulbs are, I forgot the name. What were they? Uh, They're Barina. B-A-R-R-I-N-A. Okay, Barina bulbs. A Amazon. Cheap. Yeah, I got one on Amazon. What, what were they? I thought 142 bucks for 16 Yeah. is what I paid for 16 bulbs. So I'm changing all my bulbs out. Which is... Pretty much what a fluorescent bulb. Yeah, they're not that much more fluorescent. They're not going to burn out. They don't put out heat, and they don't have to warm up, and they put out more light, and they use less electricity. I mean, it's kind of a pain to me on what he's doing because I'm just not an electrical kind of guy. I can, you know, work a socket or something, but when it comes to this and removing a ballast, he's like, oh, it's easy, a couple wires. I go, okay. <laughs> and, of course, we did the hard one first, and it was a pain in the butt. And, of course, I got four or five hard ones. And these, he said, are easier because it's got the ballast in the middle. So we're going to make the color, the red and blue, the power side. Simple. Okay. All one, all one, get the power. So everyone needs to get the hot wire or black. Oh, so both, all four wires are going to be hot. All four, so all four pins on one end will be hot. Oh, okay. Okay.
and then all the all the four pins on the other ones will be neutral. Neutral. Yeah. Okay. But see, in on this, this is a shunted fixture. See how they're oh because the wires are connected. There's not four wires. There's only two, so they've shorted short circuited with, oh. a, with a jumper. Okay. So then you'd have to dig in and start separating those wires out, and that's no fun when you buy the same bulb for the same price and just make one in hot and one in neutral, and you don't have to worry if your fixture shut or not. The only part you're going to need is a little bit of Romex wire because usually the ballast wires aren't long enough. Oh yeah, because they were wired on both sides of the ballast, you took four inches out. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to make this the neutral. Just put it in the jumper. Per code, supposedly when you use a wire nut, you're supposed to put black tape, but I ain't worried about it. So if you want to do it, and you want to think you're, you need black wire tape around that nut. That's for people who don't know how to twist the wire nut on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, some electricity is going to be giving you shit. That's a safety you should. <laughs> so, this end with the yellow colored wire is just going to get the neutral. Okay. The fixture's already grounded. Oh, but there was a switch in here and you took the switch out too. I just omitted the switch. Right. Out too. So, because, and the reason why he said he took the switch out is because the power has to go through the switch. If your switch goes bad, even if you're not turning it on off, it sure. can, yeah. It's just another chance of something going bad, something screwing up. So, we're done. Really? That's what it looks like. All right. Let me, this was an easy one. Yeah, no kidding, man. So there was two screws on that that we just kind of... Yep, the screws lined up. This is where the, the switch was. So that's gone. That's one less thing to go wrong. The ballast is removed. It's wired straight, and now um, after we put those two screws in, give me that other screw, and I'll start it with my finger over right here. If I put in one screw, I can say we did this as a team. <laughs> I helped Robbie out so he wouldn't screw it up. <laughs> if it blows up, it's gonna be. Oh, it's because of my screw! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Uh, well, that's true. If we get an explosion, man, I'll get a lot of hits. <laughs> people will be like, so let me uh, get this tag on here just so people know. So you can kind of read this. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm going to wait to plug it in. We ain't plugging it in until we get it. Uh, let's see. LED tube, all the specs, volts. What do we say these were? Um, you said mine uses more volts. 24 watt, mine are 22 watt, and you can see the individual LEDs on mine. Oh, correct. But on these he ordered, they, they're more like a fluorescent tube. Honestly, you can't tell the difference. Yeah, and I'm not even sure. On my little screen, I can't tell if they can tell the lights washing out if you can see, but there actually is the um, little individual lights on the LED. And if I go all the way out, I don't know if you can see, or if I go all the way in, I don't know if it'll... There's little bitty lights, but on these, there's going to be straight fluorescent. It looks just like yeah. a regular fluorescent. It, when it's turned on, you can't tell the difference. Okay, so let's uh, go on in. Stick them out. All righty. And now we're going to plug it in. Big explosion. Look out. Don't do this without safety gas. This is like me and him. <laughs> we got the gas can over here. We got all kind of things trying to make this blow. <laughs> There's a extinguisher in here somewhere. <laughs> yeah! And that's light. And let me tell you, those suckers are stinking bright. I don't know how bright you can tell if they're over there, but, dude, they are bright. I had, before I put these in, I stuck a lux meter on it, and this light... Mounted at this height with fluorescence was getting 364 lumens. When I put these bulbs in, it changed to 1184. I think. Wow. It was Significant. Wow. And less wattage. Yeah, less wattage, less electricity. Don't need to warm up. It's a wreck. You don't have a ballast to go bad. You don't have a switch to go bad. Okay, so we're going to end that there on tape one. Thanks, Robbie. We'll go to type two.
after this one. One that there.